I last posted updates on my investment account four months ago, so I think it's time to show the results and continue investing, because I'm not stopping my experiment. Firstly, congratulations to everyone watching this video with Bitcoin at $60,000. We're soon going to hit an all-time high and are waiting for the altcoins to soar. We're waiting for the alt season. The other coins will take off as well. Which coins to buy, which are long overdue to be in your portfolio, which can be grabbed right now. We'll discuss this in other videos, including live broadcasts on this YouTube channel. Today we're not talking about long-term passive investments and I want to remind newcomers to the channel that passive investments mean that regardless of whether the price goes up or down, I'm constantly buying more crypto. In this case, crypto, because this channel is about crypto, usually passive investment is in funds. The market was born and so I consistently buy more crypto, especially today. Today I will buy some. But first, let's take a look at the results of my portfolio. I invested a total of $2,200. I almost said $20,000. Right now, I have $4,100 in my balance, meaning I earn $2,000, well, uh, slightly less than $2,000. I have two pieces of news as part of my experiment. First, as I said, I switched to Binance. I recommend switching to Binance. I also use the staking products available on Bybit, so the first news is about staking about staking. I have gotten the first results, I earned $40 from staking specifically from interest. Take into account I have both Bitcoin and Ethereum staked on Bybit, these state currencies brought me $40. As a passive investor, I've never considered investing any significant amount of money in crypto, I've told you many times before, why why? First, because as an investor, I want to receive a passive income an income that comes to me from real estate, from dividends on the stock market. Crypto doesn't offer this. If I were to buy, for example, a million dollars worth of crypto, if it grows 10 times, in order for me to use my 10 million dollars, I would have to sell my assets, in essence, depleting them. It makes little sense. I didn't see the point of it as a passive investor. But now from 2023, for serious investments, I want to remind you that under this category, I set aside $100 a week. I buy cryptocurrency with these $100 a week. And the last video was, as you see, 12 weeks ago. I'm going to buy more digital currency for $1,200 in this video. And I'm probably the second piece of news. Due to my growing interest in using the cryptocurrency market for long-term savings and investments, I will likely increase my investments in cryptocurrency soon and will not limit myself to a weekly $100. Depending on my income, which varies month by month, I will probably set aside a portion of it here and you will be informed about it. And when I invest the first, so to speak, part of my earnings here, for now it's just an announcement for the future, but it makes sense for 2024. I already included in my plan that cryptocurrency will be a full part of my investment portfolio. Remember, I'm involved in crypto trading and all the profit that I earn from there, I withdraw and primarily invest in real estate and a little bit in the stock market in shares of Russian companies. Now I'm looking at crypto as a genuinely interesting part for an investment portfolio. What is more, I only have Bitcoin and Ethereum in my account, I'm showing how it looks like and if. If you register on the same Bybit as I, let's say, if you want to invest in Bitcoin Ethereum in the long term, how is it more profitable for you to place these assets at interest, as I did? Take note, my Ethereum is on my funding account and it's in the form of Cent ETH 0.6. What's that? By Bit offers an opportunity, as you may know, Ethereum transitioned from proof of work to proof of. 
and offers the chance to stake your Ethereum, place it in the proof of stake system, and earn interest from transactions on the Ethereum network. The more Ethereum you deposit in your account, the more you'll earn. Now in terms of percentages, it seems to be I calculated not exactly written there, but I calculated it accrues me roughly about 3.6% annually. That's on my capital in terms of the annual amount every day it The very same function that allows you to earn interest from staking essentially not flexible savings for any duration. Actually, all of it comes from above. These are deposits within this exchange in one way or another. In other words, I can take Ethereum, make a deposit there at a conditional 8% per annum. Well, this is a bit more complicated than just a deposit. Say there's a fixed term here at 1.5%, I'll put them in. Okay, I will simply have a deposit on the BB at exchange, and where my Ethereums are, they take interest on them, but it's not profitable. Ethereum 2.0 is written to be up to 7% per annum, but in fact, I got 3.5% at the moment. It is understood that this percentage fluctuates based on the network's activity. So, Ethereum 2.0, here click the buy button in those Ethereums that you have in your account, and you just stake. To unlock, here I have 0.6 Ether in this and this product, I click the buy button and I can sell all my these. Staking will stop dripping on them, but I'll be able to withdraw them wherever I want. While they're frozen for me, while I have them staked, I get 5% per annum. Let me remind you, by the way, I forgot to mention this at the very beginning. There is a referral on the buy bit below the link. When you register through it, you'll receive a $100 welcome bonus for the deposit. And it actually works a bit differently. The larger your deposit, the larger the welcome bonus will be. Almost everyone takes precisely $100 because there is only $3 that you need to deposit. If you have, let's say, $250,000 that you use for crypto investments or for trading in the crypto market, you can be handed up to $30,000 as a welcome bonus. Well, if there's no deposit at all, you can withdraw $10. Dollar one hundred is suitable for everyone generally. Here is the link below. Register, grab this dollar one hundred. Dollar, you can deposit them there for the same staking. For example, these are real money that you will receive in regarding rewards, by the way. They say there are some more bonuses. I think they give referrals, some commission discounts. Have a look overall after registering in the rewards section. Beyond these hundred dollars, take everything else in the rewards section. As for Bitcoin, Return to the Earn tab, and I use flexible savings at 5%. Annually, it's like a deposit. I hold Bitcoin on the Bybit exchange at 5%. 5% per year seems like a lot, is this a joke? But there's a nuance. If my account holds more than 5 Bitcoins, the interest drops to 1%. Anything that's less than 5% of Bitcoin, 5% is accrued on it. Let's say, if I have 1 Bitcoin, I have an annual yield of 1% on 0.95, and 5% on 0.05. I've also considered this in my table, but in a month, if only get passive income from stacking 1,300 rubles, just pennies, pennies, but I invested very little. So I showed you where and how I keep this thing. Now I'll buy more Ethereum and Bitcoin for my portfolio. I'll show you entered in the table show the changes and immediately answer question number one the crypto has grown bitcoin is at its highest ethereum is at its highest how is that you're really going to buy one thousand two hundred dollars worth of ether and bitcoin ether and bitcoin now yes i'll buy it at the highest point within this heading because obviously if i had a million dollars i wouldn't buy at the highest point but since i regularly invest a little bit it doesn't matter to me how much the crypto costs now expensive cheap my goal within this heading i noted for myself 
is a more reasonable one. I said it there, it was for fun. Of course, how much? M, $40,000, yes, I already set for myself a reasonable goal, a tangible million dollars, but sure, I save a million at dollar one hundred a week, but I don't know how many years or even decades it will take. As I said, I will invest a little more than dollar one hundred, so I decided to immediately increase my goal for the future. Until I reach my goal, I buy crypto at any price. Yes, Bitcoin may cost $60,000 now. In a year, it may only cost $6,000. So I may lose money. I will only lose money if I sell it in a year when everything falls 10 times, but I will not do this. I will buy more. I will only sell when I have reached my goal. I will have to think about it then because my second goal is to cover my expenses with passive income. Of course, I'm nowhere near covering even 0.2%, but still, if I have a large amount in the account, interest will accumulate, so maybe I won't even sell anything. Since I will receive passive income and passively cover my expenses, let's see. This is the first question I wanted to answer. The second question I want to answer is straight away, what is Bitcoin? Ethereum is your portfolio, Artem, but where are the 503 altcoins? It's alt season now, yes. Buy some coins. As for this part of the investment, I haven't taken my portfolio yet. No shit coins and no shit coins in principle will I consider for my portfolio. I will only consider the top altcoin, which I haven't considered yet. Well, since my investments are ridiculous, what's $1,200? Of course, you can buy something else with them, but I haven't taken the time yet. First of all, what I want is to consider top coins stable with some good long-term idea of existence so that they can definitely be staking. There are such coins actually in abundance. They lie on the surface. Well, a little time is needed. To highlight the most interesting things from a long-term perspective, I haven't done it yet, but I'll do it later. I haven't had the time for it yet, but as you can see, my investments are relatively small. For this reason, I haven't gotten to it yet, but I'll start with Bitcoin Ethereum, then I'll add some more top coins and some shit coins. Theoretically, you could invest $10 in them, get $10,000 in a couple of years. They could potentially skyrocket with a small probability if you buy a hundred of them in a portfolio, something will definitely take off. I'm not going to get involved in this at all. I don't even plan to, not even close. I won't get involved, it won't be on the channel, you can watch this elsewhere. I'm talking about stability, I'm talking about planning long-term investments, this is my channel, or this column specifically. So the third question I want to answer immediately before I go to buy coins, how will I buy them and I have $1,200 to invest? What am I doing, for what amount? Bitcoin or Ethereum? I buy equal amounts of both Bitcoin and Ether for $600, so it seems I have in my portfolio. Let's look at the current value. I have $4,100 in my portfolio, although Ethereum is slightly more than Bitcoin. If I originally planned to have both Bitcoin and Ether in my portfolio equally, I should now buy more Bitcoin than Ether because I have less Bitcoin. You see, less in the portfolio, how did it happen? Ether has grown stronger than Bitcoin. It turns out that the excess, the shift went towards Ethereum. So it would seem, yes, I should buy more Bitcoin than Ether. But this is a strategy I won't be following in the near future. While my portfolio is insignificant, I won't work. I'll invest equally half and half in Bitcoin and Ether. In this case, yes, if there were more other coins, I would also equally and whatever grows stronger or falls harder, that's why there is a shift in a certain direction. It'll work, but we'll likely do a rebalancing later. I'm looking towards rebalancing. That is, for example, if Ethereum grows tenfold, I will obviously have almost the entire portfolio focused on Ethereum. So I'll just fix these numbers for Ethereum and we'll decrease its share effectively. The amount of fixation will be used to buy more Ether. I'll buy, I mean, Bitcoin and other coins that will be in the portfolio at that time. I hope I've explained clearly. However, this is how I plan to proceed. At least for now, the portfolio is trivial. In theory, when and if I have a more significant portfolio, let's say a minimum of $40,000, I would purchase the coins that are a priority, the coins that are lagging behind, 
And in this way, it will turn out that the majority of my invest in those coins that are not at their peak. For example, if Ether shot up more than Bitcoin, it's obviously a bit more overbought than Bitcoin. But still, there's a chance that the overbought coin, like Ether, if it's stronger than Bitcoin, might continue to be stronger. I hope you understand what I mean. Anyway, I'm off to make a purchase and connect showing you the result. I did my purchases and noted them in a table. This is very important for those who use Bybit. Here they are, Bitcoin, Ether, I have them. Now I'll go deposit them to earn interest. But before that, it's important to stress that if you do the same as me, buying long term through the Bybit exchange, the best way to do it is, look, we click to trade and there's a conversion button here, a swift conversion with zero commissions without slippage. All beautifully expressed in marketing lingo. Here's Ether. Don't worry about anything. Don't clash with any trading terminals. You can't use this. You can't use it. I worked it out. There really is no slippage. There really are zero commissions as stated. But the rate offered here is overpriced by about one and a half percent. What does that mean? This means that a thousand dollars have been invested. If I make a transaction through this, I will pay from it. Well, as if not commissions, yes, not as if zero, but I will do it fifteen dollars less profitably from every thousand than if I go to trade spot trading BTC USD. Moreover, the commission on the exchange is lower if you buy or sell on limit orders. On market orders, it is higher. But I have just made trades on market orders on Ethereum and Bitcoin is very acceptable, the commission is almost zero. I, since I just carried out one transaction without leverage, it is almost zero. Here it is not profitable and I do not recommend using this section with conversion. By the way, this applies not only to Bybit but to any other exchange. There are similar interfaces, everything is marketing beautiful. But if you calculate at what rate, yes, for example, I'm going to buy it now. Well, for example, for dollar one hundred, yes, Bitcoin. Well, let's not do it. Bitcoin is worth exactly sixty-two thousand dollars at the time of recording this video. Cent to cent, sixty-two thousand. And well, I don't have sixty-two thousand, so he doesn't count me. Yes. Well, that's basically ten Bitcoin. It's one quarter, but I don't even have sixty dollars in my account. Yes, but. We just enter here the amount we want to invest. For example, yes, 100. Here will come out some amount in Bitcoins. You just take it and divide it with... You just take and divide 100 by that sum that shows up for you. Compare it with the current market price. You'll see it differs by approximately 1.5%. We don't use this interface, by the way. Here is such an interface. In buying Ethereum 2.0, it's unique, this is not simply a one-click deposit on an exchange. Here it is specifically through such an interface you need to work. Here is exactly where I wanted to center your attention. Written APR for yesterday is 3.5%. Hmm. It has stayed approximately the same way for the last five months. Here is the expected annual income, if, of course, it will be this way all year. It depends on network activity. There are no guarantees here. It can also be zero if the commissions in the Ethereum network are zero. No transactions are happening at all. It could be very high if the network activity is exceptionally high. And if Bitcoins, they are immediately on the earn account. Here is the BBIT accumulation. Can you see what to add? The whole bill and the ethereums that i'm staking ethereum 2.0 they're going to be in the this section displayed for a while last time it took me five minutes when i i bought now i don't know how long it will take we'll see and as soon as this order my application for depositing this amount of ethereum will go through it will disappear from here and will be added to the funding account in the form of sate and the here are my 0.6 that were here are my 0.172 these ethers that I will keep on this account will be available every day. I will bring profitability in the form of the same steth. That is, in fact, it will be interest on interest on interest on interest to accumulate. If you do not withdraw it, withdraw. 
And the last thing I wanted to focus on is the statistics after I replenished your account. Please note that the PNL has not changed. The PNL from interest has not changed either. Then there are these figures that have remained the same. They change only from the exchange rate, the amount of investment, the current value has changed, and the same 1.200 has been added to them dollars that I just invested and pay attention to the charts of how much I invested in total here. As you can see, the graph is growing, although I invest 100 every week dollars. Why is it non-linear? Because I'm updating the information here exactly with the recording of similar videos. As you can see, I don't run my own channel regularly. I shoot this column unsteadily, not once a week. The last time it was three months ago, or even four, here, but still less as it is on the balance sheet. Now it is the amount of my investment, plus the change in the exchange rate. It is like, see, it's growing exponentially, vertically, uh, because the market has gone up so much. It can also go down in, in the event of a market fall. I initially had a rather ridiculous capital goal. Now I have it. And as I said in this video, I'm going to take this balance a little more seriously. Not just some ridiculous experiment. It's true. A tool you can use in your job and your finances, as I first stated. I indicated because there is now PNL in terms of percentages through staking, the percentage of achieving the capital goal as far as capital is concerned in relation to the increase in the capital goal. It has declined here. Yes, but nevertheless, by half a percent, I've already achieved my objective. And the objective is quite significant, a million dollars. The overall PNL is clear, you see, it grows every time. The PNL from percentages is the thing that I'm now going to monitor, and when overall PNL might drop below zero when the price falls, let's say I bought very expensively, and the price drops tenfold, it will also be negative, obviously. But the PNL of interest can never be negative, because even if the price drops, I will still drip some interest on top of my crypto. In crypto at a low rate, it will quite a low income, but it will be income. There is no negative PNL here. Covering my expenses are passively, understandably, at 0.3%. My expenses are about half a million rubles a month if you count in rubles and the share of profitability, the percentage of total profitability, I also take into account on a long-term view, this graph will prevail. That is, it will grow because, as I've already said, the total PNL could be negative, but the PNL percentage can't be negative. Compound interest will kick in over time and the main profitability over a long period of time will be specifically from the interest, not from the growth in the price of my assets. Another point, if you're an investor buying, let's say, an apartment, for example, to rent it out, to receive passive income, you wouldn't rush to sell this apartment seeing that real estate prices have doubled. Why would you give up your asset and receive zero rubles of monthly passive income when you can hold on to this apartment? Yes, its value has increased, but so what? You're not planning to sell it, you're receiving a cash flow precisely from that. The passive investor invests approach is just like this approach, now on crypto it's possible. Here is 1,700 rubles per month. The expected passive income is just pennies for now, but over time it will grow, as you can see. The percentage of expenses covered increases. By the way, I didn't include here. The dynamics of the expected monthly income, I think I will do it by the next video. It was 1,000, how much? 300, yes, or 1400 at the beginning of the video. Now it's already 1700 in general. We invest and trade, earn, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget that there is a referral link below with a $100 bonus for a deposit when registering on the B exchange. Good luck.